father. My brothers are constantly criticizing my chanting during the divine services. I must confess that I lose my temper with them in my heart. Hmm. My dear brother, how long has this been going on? Honestly, father, I must confess, this has been going on for years. And you haven't confessed this anger and judgment in your heart? I... I'm sorry, Father. What should I do? Brother Peter, sometimes such complications can be hard to disarm, especially after years of it growing. I think you should see our holy Abba Macarius. And so, the young monk Peter traveled to visit the famous Abba Macarius. <sighs> this is borderline crazy. And the Abba's instruction was not quite what he expected. I asked for a good word and help from the Holy Father Macarius. And he sends me to the monastery's graveyard at midnight. Dear brother Peter, if you would like to learn wisdom, go visit the cemetery for one hour and insult, tease, and deride the brothers who rest there in their graves. So now what should I do? He wants me to verbally attack these resting brothers? So... So I hear you're all a bunch of deluded monks. Ah, so... No reply, eh? Take this! Were you all this boring when you were alive? Can any of you fools hear me? <laughs> what can I learn from any of you now? This is such a waste of my time. I really don't understand the point of this, dear father. But now I've been sent to praise you? Dear fathers and brothers who have come before me, uh, I'm not sure of the details of your lives, but I know that you must have struggled greatly and, um, and even defeated the enemy of our salvation. <laughs> Blessed righteous fathers, you are nothing short of the apostles. I'm sure you're all young, handsome, spry men. This is a waste of my time. <laughs> Dear brothers, you may be resting in peace, but I need some answers. Well, at least I tried. Come in, dear brother. How did it go? Abba, they said nothing after I complimented them and sang their praises. Hmm. So they were silent when you mocked and criticized them. Yes, Abba. And just as silent when you flattered them. Yes, Abba. Brother, if you wish to be saved... You must do the same, and become a dead man. Abba, you're saying I have to die? Brother, you must become like a dead man. So I must die to myself? Yes and no, brother. You're still not quite getting it. You must be like the dead whom you have derided and praised. Abba, I don't understand. What did the dead do? Take no account of either the scorn of men 
or their praises and you can be saved. Oh, I get it now. Thank you. Thank you, Abba. Thank you for your wisdom. Depart in peace, brother, before you tempt me with your praise. Huh. Yes. Yes, Abba. Thank you. Give thanks to God, brother Peter. Yes. Yes. Thank God. Glory to God. Hi, this is Nick, and welcome to Cloud of Witnesses, Journey with the Saints. We hope that you were edified listening to this episode, a short story from the life of the famous St. Macarius of Skidus, Egypt area. Also, Happy New Year. We're really, really blessed to get this new year started. We've got, of course, these series and these episodes on the lives and stories of the saints, but we also have new series like Screw Tape, who's been uh, messing with all of our production and getting in the way, but we're also kind of grabbing his letters and sharing it with the world. Um, we also have a new series called Yes, But, which is where we get popular speakers. Uh, etc and then we talk about where they're correct on certain topics and subjects and then where they might have gone wrong um, from an orthodox christian perspective um that's a lot of fun and we also have many many other things cooking uh and we hope to bring to you very soon so thank you god bless you all and we hope to see you soon on any one of our platforms and series hey this is jeremy hi this is nick welcome to cloud of witnesses journey with the saints Nick, another episode that really challenges us as Christians. Yep, yet again, Lord of mercy, Holy Father Macarius the Great, pray unto God for us. Pray unto God for us. Amen. Nick, we, we really enjoy, from time to time, our audience may recognize, may mm. notice, that some of our episodes are like this one. They're, they're, mm. We call them you know, maybe anecdotes or snapshots. Mm. This one's kind of a parable yeah. type story. Yeah, definitely. We don't always necessarily bring you a long form, you know, full life of a saint, which mm. we do love those episodes as well. Mm -hmm. But we find that the lives of the saints are so chock full Seriously. of wisdom it's that a treasure we, can, trove. we can pull from things like this exactly. as well. I love that you say parable because obviously there are so many themes and lessons to learn in an entire saint's life. But sometimes just one single event or an anecdote or short becomes a parable, Absolutely. right? And this is this is an amazing one. And it's really funny reading this in the Desert Fathers. There's so many interesting anecdotes in the wisdom of the Desert Fathers. I love this one. You know, I, I could imagine, you know, I, I'm you're a young monk, right? And you're vexed about something. So you go to this great prophetic elder and he gives you something really strange, really random to yeah. some extent. You know, you're yeah. hoping to, I don't know, see a miracle or some clairvoyance. And he tells you to visit a graveyard and abuse, verbally abuse. And to talk to them. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You're like, okay, like, <laughs> are spirits going to come out? What's going right, to happen, right? right? Right. And to some extent, it's like, okay, nothing flashy or crazy happens. Mm -hmm. but it, And it, that's kind of the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's an amazing, amazing parable yeah. type story, right? That theme of, in some ways, we have to be like the dead. We have to die to ourselves. We have to yep. die to our passions, whether it's the passion of vainglory or the passion of, it's really just vainglory, whether yeah. you're- Vainglory yeah. or, or the passion of, of passion of, you know, mm. of having your, you know, whether it's vainglory or, or, you know, your pride, mm. right? If yeah. you've been decried or, you know, put mm. down and you feel you need to stand up for yourself, mm -hmm. you know, that's pride. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I thought there was going to be some kind of opposite to vainglory, but really- if you're verbally abused or or insulted by someone, your vainglory, your yeah. pride is a little hurt, yep. right? Right. And if you're praised by someone, guess what? Back to vainglory, yeah. back to pride. It's the same thing. It's yeah. really just two different sides of, of the, the same, same coin, coin, right? That's exactly that's, right, Nick. That's it's interesting that the monk in in the actual source, right? He goes back. He's like, "So what was that about?" And he says, "Okay, now do the opposite, right? Mm -hmm. Try the other side of the coin." Right. Still right. nothing, right? And that silence yeah. of the dead. And that's exactly how we have to be. Imagine that, Nick. Think about it. Next time, you know, classic one, father brought it up today in, in this homily. Mm. If you're driving down the road and somebody <sighs> cuts you off, how would the dead react, yeah. right? Can you produce that silence, that that Christian quietness and just accepting it? And even, even to bless that car and say, be yeah. on your way. Lord of mercy. It's not easy to do. 
No, it, there's so many times in a single day where we can practice this truth. Yeah. I was going to say, Nick, we were talking about, you know, these types of episodes. I can chew on this yeah. wisdom for the next month, Yeah, you know, and, and probably not even fully comprehend it. You yeah, know? Seriously, yeah. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's one of those, I feel like it's like that with a lot of the gospel, but yeah. you know, it's kind of warm and fuzzy, right? Love your enemy and love, love, love. But man, once you try to put it into practice, mm -hmm. man, oh man, there's a lot of work to be done and it's not fun. It doesn't Absolutely. feel good. It Absolutely. doesn't feel good. Oftentimes. Yeah. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's true. And you know, Lord have mercy on us. You yeah. Know? Um, God I think we all, there. we all struggle with it, you know, mm -hmm. and, or at least we're hoping to, str to struggle with yeah, it. Yeah. Um, there's another element to this story as well, Nick, we were going to talk about, and that mm. is the faithfulness of mm. this young monk. Yeah. Very you know? true. Cause you can imagine a scenario where the young monk goes to Father Macarius. Macarius says, you know, go to this graveyard and, you know, mm. abuse them. He might have walked away and been like, well, oh, Macarius might have been great in his day, but he's lost yeah. a few marbles. Mm. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know what very I mean? Very true, very true. And, but instead, he did it. He mm. actually went, he followed through even when it was awkward and weird and yeah. he didn't understand it, mm -hmm. but he was faithful. And that's where the lesson came in. Amen. Yeah. Without that, the lesson wouldn't be learned, right? Right. right. And I feel like God does that in our own lives for whatever reasons or whatever the reasons are, whatever the scenario is. Oftentimes I think about this own podcast. It's kind of like walking on water, right? God is saying, do this, or, you know, it's like, well, what is there for us in some ways, but we're by God's grace, we're treading on water. Yep. And by all of our listeners support, we continue and we hope to continue bringing you guys these inspiring lives Amen. and stories of the saints and by God's grace, he keeps on opening doors where we don't think there's a door or there's not a, a way to open it up. He's opening it up and sometimes giving us the boot or sometimes, you know, kicking, kicking us right through. But yep, it, yep. It, by God's grace, we're moving along with all of your help and support. Absolutely. You know, Nick, at the time of this recording, you know, we're, we're getting close to... We're going to be at 25 episodes, I think, here quite yeah, quite shortly. Yeah. And thanks be to God. Glory to you God. Know, um, we never quite knew or thought we'd make it this far. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's been an incredible uh, blessing to, yeah. to still be doing this. Glory you know? to God. Glory yeah. be to God. You know, Nick, another element to this story that I think is, is kind of shining is that, mm. you know, we talked about how it's kind of silly almost, right? It seems mm. a little foolish why... Father Macarius is asking his this young monk to go do this, but I'm mindful of the the Bible verse. You know, it talks about that the gospel is foolishness to the world, mm -hmm. right? It's it's um, what is it? The Jews are seeking a sign. Oh yeah, yeah. The Jews seek after. Well, this is different, but it's still very applicable. Right. Which is the Jews seek after a sign, and the Greeks seek wisdom. That's right. That's right. right. But and what does Paul preach? Christ crucified. Christ crucified, which is foolishness to the gent or to that. Hey, I'm getting it wrong. Sorry. No, yeah, stumbling block. Stumbling block to the Jews and uh, foolishness to the Gentiles. That's it, that's yeah, it. So can we do that last part again? Yeah, just yeah. Yeah, maybe. Hmm, where should we take that? Um, to which is a stumbling block, which is a stumbling block to the Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles. Amen. And we see here, out of that foolishness comes wisdom. Amen. Yeah, Nick, we're we're going to uh, read the Traparian. Yes, um, for. Uh, St. Macarius. St. Macarius. Yeah. And this is, uh, as Nick pointed out, deftly in tone one. <laughs> Although I will not be doing it in tone, unfortunately. <laughs> you were shown to be a citizen of the desert, an angel in the body, and a wonder worker. O Macarius, our God-bearing father, receiving heavenly gifts through fasting, vigil, and prayer, healing the infirmities and the souls of those who come to you with faith. Glory to him who strengthened you. Glory to him who crowned you. Glory to him who through you grants healing to all. Amen. Amen. I Glory love that part. Healing the souls of those who visited him, right? Yeah. And that's exactly, that's what, exactly this, what we saw what in this Nick. story shows. Who healing those who come to him in faith. Yeah. That's right. A big that's part. an important that's element. A huge because part. as we talked about, if he didn't have the faith, mm -hmm. he would not have received the, the the wisdom. Just like the woman with the issue of blood, right? Many people were touching and mm -hmm. thronging about Christ, but she touched him in faith. Right. She touched the hem of his garment, right? Amen. And that's what yep. she did. And that's what this monk did with this holy monk. And he was enlightened Absolutely. by this elder. And we hope, listening to this end of this episode, we hope that you also are 
blessed and, and, and maybe find are finding some healing in these words. Amen. That is the goal and purpose of this podcast is to inspire, is to inspire our listeners with the lives and teachings of the saints. Amen. If you're interested in more cloud of witnesses content, you can find us all over social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, we're on Patreon, anywhere podcasts can be found. Mm -hmm. Just look up Cloud of Witnesses, Journey with the Saints, or Cloud of Witnesses Radio. And please check, We and please, we would encourage you to check out our Patreon for extra material, whether it's sneak peeks, bloopers, or, you know, snippets of the sources that we pull some of our scripts from, or even sometimes some of our scripts. And, you know, of course, everything that, everything that we graciously receive on Patreon is going towards funding this podcast, which is a volunteer, which is a volunteer effort by those of the members of our church down here in San Diego. Absolutely. As always, thank you for listening this long. We look forward to hearing you and, and hearing from you on our comments. And please, we would encourage you to check out our Patreon and please like, subscribe, and definitely share with friends and family if you found this to be an enlightening and inspiring experience. It helps so much. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Cloud of Witnesses, Journey with the Saints. We hope it proved to be exciting and inspiring for all of our listeners. May God, through the prayers of His Most Pure Mother and all the saints, guide us all to the heavenly homeland. We hope to see you next time, here on Cloud of Witnesses journey with the saints.